another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back, Charles Conwell versus Mark DeLuca, and I think Charles Conwell is one of the best prospects in all the land. Um, we're going to get into that, but before we do, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, some new updates coming on that. We're going to launch a website um, and all that. But please uh, subscribe to that channel. Help us get monetized as quickly as possible. All right. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Uh, Charles Conwell has been added to this uh, ridiculous it's Logan Paul. Is it Logan Paul? Jake Paul. Jake Paul versus Tyrone Woodley card that I have no interest in. Uh, Amanda Serrano's on it, which gives it some interest. But now I'm into it because um, Charles Conwell is on it. I think Charles Conwell is um, one of, if not the best prospect in the entire sport. Um, I, I think this kid is spectacular. Um, there's nothing I don't like about him. We're going to get into why I, I, I think he's so good. Um, but before we do that, I want to talk about his opponent. His opponent is Mark DeLuca. And DeLuca is fine. You know, he's 27-2. and two. He's a pretty good fighter. Um, you guys know him because he got blown out by Cal Brook. And he lost to uh, somebody named Walter Wright, who, you know, whatever. Um, he's beaten a bunch of nobodies. Um, he fights a lot on – he's fought in Mexico recently since the pandemic. Um, uh, but, but he fights a lot in, in Boston where he's from. Um, he's a local guy, you know, he's a good fighter. If he's from your hometown, you go out, you root for him. Um, there's not a whole lot here. I mean, it's just not much here. Uh, his best win is over a guy, an undefeated guy named Brandon Brewer, who he beat in Providence. And then he also has a win over a guy named Jimmy Williams, who you guys may know. Um, Jimmy Williams is, is kind of a – he's lost to Brandon Lee. He got destroyed by Brandon Lee in, uh, in uh, uh, on a shell box card, I believe it was. Um, but but these are the names – these are the guys he fights. I mean, he, he's Bazooka Deluca. He, so what I'm saying is it's, it's a decent opponent. It's not a terrible opponent. This is easy work. This is not – this is easy work for Conwell. It's easy work for Conwell because he is so good. Um, you know, he's out of Cleveland, Ohio. This, I, I want to see him take a big step up in this next fight, a big step up. Um, like one of the top ten names, you know, um, at 154. A J. Rock Williams, a Tony Harrison. A Jared Hurd, he I think he can beat those guys. I know Jared Hurd at sixty, but he can go to sixty-two and beat Jared Hurd. Like any of those names, Rosario, Patrick Desar, Carlos Adames, um, he's that good. He can beat those guys. So, Conwell oh, had a pretty busy. Oh, he, he what Conwell is most known for is the unfortunate way that he beat Patrick Day. In addition to that, he's got wins over Courtney Pennington, Travis Scott. Those were his names he's got on the way up. Then on a showbox card, a really interesting showbox card, he destroyed um, Wendy Toussaint, who's out of Long Island, a Haitian fighter. I think he's a really good fighter. And then since then, um, he's fought three times since the pandemic, which is which is good. Um, he, he took two easy fights, two easier fights, local fights. Well, one he fought on um, an undefeated fighter. On one of those Ring City USA cards, he beat a guy named Madiar Askayev, destroyed him. Um, and he took a hometown fight, which actually went the distance. Um, Tushar's a special fighter. Let's get into what makes him good. He 
he's a strong come forward guy, but he's multidimensional. He can box in the mid range. You know, he's an Olympian. He can outbox you. And he lost to in the Olympics. He lost in the first round to uh, the Indian guy, the Indian tank, Vikas Kirshan. Am I saying that right? Um, but that's who he lost to in the Olympics. But his skills are there. He's a polished boxer who's big and strong. He can come forward. He's an awesome body puncher, a ferocious body puncher. Uh, I like to see him go to the body a little bit more because he's really, really good body puncher. Um, he sets up his right hands. Um, he disguises his right hands and delivers them. He's really good at, at, at landing overhand right, straight right hands. Uh, he's got, you know, he's got that thudding, powerful jab. You know, it, it, it's quick enough, but what it is is it's it's a shotgun. Um, you know, he likes to stay in the high guard, throws a lot of feints. He's 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 a really complete fighter. Um, like I said, he's multidimensional. Mixes up the head and body tremendously well. As complete as it gets, and then he's got all world power. He's going to be so much trouble at 154 and 160. Um, you know, I, I, I think after whoever Charlo Locustano unifies his division, if it's Charlo, I think he vacates it. Um, if, if not, I mean, this is the next. This is the next guy at that division. Um, I, I tweeted out a while ago. Well, Conor Wall's manager, he splits him manager. Someone tweeted out that um, he could. Knock out Triple G. And I was like, look, Triple G's chin is epic. A great chin. I don't think he's going to knock Triple G out, but I think he beats Triple G. And I'm saying, I think he's that good. He's multidimensional. He's fast. He's powerful. He's strong. And he's super skilled in the mid range. He's a tremendous fighter with a great body puncher. This guy's not losing for a while. And, and when I tweeted that, I, I think he beats Triple G, but I don't think he stops him. Uh, I forget who it was with split team management. Um, like said, so yeah, you're probably right. Uh, but that's where this guy is. If you guys haven't seen Conwell much, he's a special fighter. This is a guy who's going to make a run at 154, 160. Um, he's going to be around for a while. Um, and so he's been added to that as Jake Paul and Tyron Woolley card. Um, it's giving you more reasons to watch now. You got Serrano. You got Conwell. They're giving you reason. Kyle was a hometown fight. Kyle was from Cleveland. They're giving you reasons to win the fight, to watch this. I wish Kyle was getting a little bit better opponent. I, I think after Kyle destroys DeLuca, I think it's really time to move him up. Austin Trout is a name I'd like to see him in. Patrick Teixeira, um, something like that. Get him in, in, in with a name like that. Carlos Diamonds, like I said before, Jared Hurd. Names like that um, because he's that good. He's ready. Like, if you don't see him, this guy is, is a, an extremely gifted fighter. Um, let me know what you guys think. Have you, are you familiar with him? Have you seen him fight? Um, are you impressed with him? Do you think he's as gifted as I do? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, remember, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. We will be out of town the rest of the week, so there will be no weekend shows. It's my goddaughter-to-be. Uh, uh, she's getting uh, it's a christening, so I'm going to be there. Um, uh, it's in New York. I'm going to be there. So I'm not going to do shows for the next two days. Um, but please like and subscribe. Share this. Hit the thumbs up button. Share it. Smash, you know, the bell icon, all that stuff. And also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Box and the Scene. I need you guys to come through and subscribe to that. Help us get this monetized. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is July 16th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.